surprise in day one was that man, Brian Siders. What a job he did in day one as he currently sits behind only Sven Carlson, Basil Benesjuk, and Sadruna Savickas. you got to believe that if he performs well in the opening event of day two, he may be on his way to challenging Savickas. He will indeed, Doug. I think Brian Siders has impressed us all with his strength, his attitude. He's a very, very quiet man. I think Brian Siders could seriously challenge 10 repetitions here. It was very strong in the shoulders in the opponent's axle. The inch dumbbell weighing 172 pounds, 2.47 inch diameter handle. Siders is attacking wow, him at look the at, gate. Look at his power, he's pressing out, no legs. Tremendous lifting again from Brian Siders. As with all the other competitors, it's all been the balance of the apparatus that has hindered them. One minute, two seconds remaining. Down to the one minute barrier for Brian Siders. Will he switch arms to the left hand? Yes, he will. And looks very smooth doing it. It does indeed. Like I said, he's impressed us all, Brian Siders. And this is tremendous lifting again. He's only halfway. 42 seconds left. And already seven good repetitions from Brian Siders. Here's Siders' eighth rep. One rep behind the leaders. Glenn Ross and Hugo Girard. and it drifts out front and crashes down on the stage. Well, for the fourth consecutive event, Brian Siders puts on a show for the hometown American fans, and he's with Tammy. Brian, did you come into this event thinking, I've got to get 11? How much does the mental come into this competition? I wasn't sure. I figured I was good for 10. That's what I got. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. And did you expect the support that you're getting from the crowd? The crowd is so exciting and loving you. I, I really appreciate it. I didn't, didn't expect it. That's, that's the best thing so far about Strong Man. We've got three leaders at 10 repetitions leading the way in the inch dumbbell. 172 pounds over the head. And here is the current world champion, Vasil Vereschuk, who's battling a bicep injury. Well, it's on his left arm. It's his left bicep, and I know Vasil's right-handed. I don't think Vasil will attempt to press with the left arm at all. I think it's going to be all right hand for Vasil here. And a lot of the, all three guys that were able to complete 10 repetitions did at least one or two reps with their opposite arm. So that may cost him in the long run. Indeed it will. I think he's got to use the time, Doug, here. Maybe the technique for Vasil, just a couple of reps, put it down, take a break, then go again. Go, go. Ready? And then you go. Uh, ready? And as I go. Okay? Now, Vasil, a former shot putter, Jamie, that training and that all that experience from shot put has got to help him in an event like this. He's used to corralling a weight up around the head area. He is, but, you know, not 172 pounds, Doug. There's a lot of other muscles come into play here for stability. The lumbar muscles, the back, the legs. But we know Vasil's very strong overhead, and this could be another event that suits him. He's gone to the left arm straight away. He's going to try to at least get one or two early on from the left arm. What? There's one. Look at the 
massive bruising in the elbow area of Vasil Vereschuk. Heavily taped. Well, it doesn't to be, seem to be stopping him, Doug, because that's three reps already with his badly bruised left bicep. Vasil able to push out for his fourth rep. 50 seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time as rep number five goes up. Now, can he get five with the right arm? He's looking at the clock. He knows he's got a lot of time left. He's getting the crowd into it. Here is the current world champion, Vasil Venestruck. Chuck, 20 seconds left on the clock. Jamie, he only needs two more to tie for first. But it's looking more difficult now. That was the hardest rep so far. Unable to get number 10. Venestruck still has eight seconds. Can't get up number 10. Vasil Venestruck will finish with nine repetitions. Jamie, take a look at that one more time. Yeah, you can see here, he struggles on number nine to lock it. The fatigue starting to set in. And number 10 is just one too far. So Vasil Vedaschuk just sits behind our three leaders with 10 reps. He finishes off with nine. Zadruna Savickas is up next. He's the current overall leader and the two-time and defending champion. Boy, Jamie, he's got his work cut out for him now with 10 reps, a lofty goal to beat. It is indeed, but as we said before, the upper body like the Apollon's wheel, Savickas came to the front in that event. Can he do it again here and get 11 reps and take another event? This looks comfortable, easy press, just wetting a little bit with the stability then. Savickas with number three. He has the crowd into it, counting along. That's his fifth rep with his right arm. Get some more oxygen into the bloodstream, he'll switch. No, he's gonna stay with the right arm, Jamie. Yeah, he took a little rest there, but it's all one-sided at the minute for Savickas. He's struggling once again a little bit. The fatigue's coming in. Wise move here, having a little break. Seven repetitions, still 40 seconds left on the clock. He needs three good reps to join the leaders. Well, his coach is shouting from the side, change hands. But that's proving a bit of a problem for Zidrunas. He's got 20 seconds left on the clock now. Goes back to his right arm. Savickas can't power it up. Stuck at seven reps, and he went through seven reps. With still 46 seconds left on the clock. Well, are we seeing a chink here in Savickas' armor? This is only going to put him into fourth position. But not control the weight for a final press out. And Sadrunas Savickas will finish with seven repetitions. Take a look at that last attempt, Jamie. He just couldn't gather the weight. No, you can see he gets up to his tricep. And he can't lock it out. And I think Zadrunas will be disappointed with that. You still have two more events left. Do you think that you're going to do well enough in those two events to take the lead? Uh... I hope it will be good events for me, but of course, all up, that's very strong and yeah. until we finish last event, we do not know how it will be. And, and is there pressure on you because you did win the last two years, is that affecting you? Yeah, of course I have pressure, but I don't think about it. Yeah. I think about event. Good stuff, thank you. Through four events, Zadruna Savickas well on his way to his third consecutive victory at the Arnold Classic. Vasil Vedaschuk currently sitting three points back in second spot. Glenn Ross and Brian Siders hot on the heels.